Welcome to the After Spin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask Chris Fitzsimon and John Hood. State Treasurer Dale Falwell recently cautioned us that the teachers and state employees' retirement system is falling further behind benefits that we promise our state employees. In 2005, the retirement plan had a surplus of $3 billion. Now it's got an unfunded liability of $7.9 billion. We've gone from a state contributing 8.3% of our employees' salaries to 12.3% of the salaries to the retirement system. We know we've got huge unfunded liabilities on the health plan. Chris, what should the lawmakers do about this growing liability to the pension plan? Well, there's not, there's not any good choices. What they haven't done so far is spend significant amounts of money when we have it uh, trying to address and reduce this liability. I mean, we, and you can argue it was the right thing to do, but we've cut taxes, what, three and a half or four billion dollars over the last several years. That would have made a dent in it if we didn't give primarily wealthy folks a tax cut. You could argue that's what we needed to do, but that's, that's an available resources. The other thing we can do, of course, is make employees pay more. We can reduce their benefits. Nobody politically wants to do that. Uh, the, cut, the obvious thing to do is be do a little bit of all those things. Uh, but no politician is thinking about what the unfunded liability is if no person is walking up to them on the street. Nobody's walking up to some uh, legislator saying, I'm really worried about the unfunded liability. They want teachers to be paid more. They might want a tax cut. They might want a new school. They might want a lot of things. So this, this is one of those areas. It's a long-term problem. It requires a long-term solution. Our politics these days is not built for a long-term solution. Very short time horizons. Absolutely. John Hood, what's your take on this? This, this is an <clears throat> echo of the obviously much more severe national problem in which Congress is paying very little attention to its primary responsibility. Most of the federal budget goes for unfunded liability entitlements, things that we've made promises that we can't deliver based on currently predicted tax rates. You could raise tax rates for Social Security. You could raise tax rates anticipating to pay out to Medicare. Medicaid it wouldn't be enough to cover the gap. So if we know in Washington that almost no one does what Chris is saying, comes up to the member of Congress and says, I want you to do something about unfunded liabilities. They just don't do it. And it doesn't happen in Raleigh either enough. The fun, now, it's not nearly as serious a problem at the state level for a variety of reasons, but we do have a multi-billion dollar liability in the pension fund. In fact, it's probably larger than the number you use because it still assumes some fairly optimistic scenarios for rate of return that we probably ought to dial down further. And uh, Dale Falwell, the state treasurer, has already dialed in. In longevity, down. age but, of people. Y yeah. Well, that part is they've, they've tried to model. Yeah. But they, they are assuming levels of rate of return that at least would be risky if we want to assume them. Anyway, I don't want to get into the actuarial debate. Chris is right about the alternatives. You really have either raise the amount of money going into the pension fund or reduce benefits or make some other kind or hope for some other kind of structural change, faster economic growth, right, changes in a, the relationships. There's another option that y'all did not mention. And I remember when I was in the state treasurer's office, the option that we saw was to switch from being a defined benefit plan to being a defined and, contribution and, and, plan. Tom, that's not an, uh, that, that, I agree with that option, but that doesn't have anything to do with what I'm talking about. Even if you were to make the change, for new employees. Right. The existing it wouldn't employees continue growing though. in the pension fund right now, you have to either put more money into the plan or reduce benefits. It's also worth pointing out that Treasurer Falwell has decided he is against doing that. He spoke yeah. out during the campaign that he did not want to make that switch. Yeah. Well, so. Harlan Bowles, well, it, because it's not politically popular right. with state employees, Harlan Bowles was trying to advocate that back in the 1990s and nobody would listen to him. Well, anyway, thanks for watching the After Spend. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspend.com.